Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This video is a message that came to me this morning during my meditation and I wanna share it with you guys sooner rather than later. That's why I'm doing this so early in the morning for me. Well, it's technically not early in the morning, but it is a little bit when it comes to filming and making videos. But during my meditation, I saw this image of us being pulled and called in the direction of something that may or may not make sense to us. That by itself makes a lot of sense because for so many of us currently right now, we are in a space where we are uncomfortable, where we're not really sure why we are here and what we are doing and what that's going to look like. We know that there is something bigger and better out there or that we are striving towards, but knowing what that looks like, it's like we can't really put the pieces of the puzzle together in order to see the bigger picture. Or maybe we have the bigger picture, but we just don't know the path to get there, which is so frustrating. So there's a lot of feelings revolving around frustration and disappointment. And it almost feels like this one path here could be leading into the direction, but then something falls apart or something falls on you, or you're walking along this path and then this tree kind of falls down and blocks the way. And you're like, if this is where I'm called to go, why is there an obstacle here? If this is what I'm, I'm being called to strive to why are you making the path so um, difficult for me? Why are you challenging me? The universe, God, the divine, your inner self is quiet throughout all of it. And when you sit there in that silence and you're calling out and calling out and all you're hearing is the, the echo of your own voice and you're wondering, why am I alone? Why do I have this feeling, this pull for something bigger than what it is that I currently have now? Where is that this feeling coming from? And why is it not obvious where I need to go? And how is it that the, the things that are so obvious to me, how is it that every time I try to take a step forward, something comes in and crushes it? Is this not what I'm called to do? And then you start questioning yourself and you start wondering, is this what I'm supposed to do? Why am I here? Is this what you know I'm, I, I am destined to do? Is this something that is for me? I felt it at first, I had so, such strong faith and now it just feels like every time I make a move towards it, it falls apart, it doesn't work out. When you sit in that silence, you're trying to connect to the divine, you're trying to connect to God, you're trying to connect within yourself. Maybe if you don't believe in God, you're trying to find the answers within you in order to make the logical next step for you, what makes sense to you. But that all by itself doesn't make sense because you don't have the answers because you don't know. Logically, it doesn't make sense. Either way, no matter what your belief system is, it almost is like we're all in the same space. Or if you're watching this video, that's what space you're in currently. No matter what year it is that you're watching this or what time of the day it is that you're watching this, if you're called to this video, there's probably a reason why. And if you're calling out and if you're calling out and if you're trying to listen, hear a message and if you're trying to receive guidance and if you're trying to receive an answer and clarity, maybe this video is it. The first thing that I'm being called to say is that for so many of you guys, you have been moving, you have been building momentum, you've been building speed. This energy and this momentum and this movement has come from your passion. It comes from you knowing that there is a purpose and there's a reason for what it is that you're you know, trying to achieve and trying to bring into your life, what it is that you're trying to manifest, what you're setting intention for, what you're praying for, what you're calling into your life. It almost seems as though this thing, this gem, is so important to you, it holds so much value. So, so much of you has been invested in it and that all of that energy that you've been putting into almost seems to have some type of connection to bringing this in and manifesting it and calling it in. It almost seems like you're calling out and you're like, do you see the sacrifices that I've made? I've made so many sacrifices to get here. All of my energy, all of my effort has been exerted into pushing this forward and building the momentum of this. And then all of that energy that you have, it's getting propelled forward. And then something comes in and crashes it down. Or you're in a space where you're like, wait, it, it's like you hit the brakes or you're being called to pause, or you're exhausted, or you're tired, or you're beat down, or you're tired of being strong. So when the universe, when God, or when you are guided to be still, the momentum of all of that is still moving behind you. And when you pause, when you hit the brakes, that momentum is still going and it crashes up against the windshield. And then you see in front of you a mess. And part of it is stuff that you've created. Part of it is things that you brought with you. Part of it is the universe giving lessons, things that you wanted and things that you didn't want, but either way, it's here. And all of it in front of you now is a mess. 
and you're looking at it and you're like, well, damn, I did this. This is it. This is my life. This is where we're at. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, what I feel, you are being called to be still. You are being called to rest. And for so many of you guys, I feel how hard it is for you to receive that message. Because again, you have done so much to get where you are currently right now. And you have been through so much to get to where you are currently right now. That to pause and to rest and to restore your energy feels like a delay. It feels like a disappointment. It feels like another blockage. But what I feel very called to tell you now is that in this space where you are currently, it may not feel comfortable to you, it may not feel like it's home, but when you are still in this space, when you are present in this space, when you protect yourself and guard yourself and call in protection for yourself while you're in this space, the dust will settle, the water will clear, and the way starts to become obvious again. For some reason, you are being called to look at your patterns, you're being called to look at your habits, you're being called to look at your lifestyle, you're being called to look at your mindset. That is why you're being still now. I'm seeing the word um, declutter. And for so many of you guys, you are very strong. And the way to help to get to this point, the mindset, the lessons that have taught you and trained you to get into this point have been successful but moving forward some of those mindsets have to be abandoned some of those habits have to be abandoned some people some things some circumstances have to be abandoned because they will not support the weight of what you have committed yourself to build for your future that's not necessarily a bad thing what I'm seeing is an examination of patterns and habits and mindsets, lifestyles. Negative thinking, you can't bring it anymore. Sometimes with logical thinking, logical thinking helps us to find facts. It helps us to find the most likely outcome. That could have helped you survive to get to this point now. But once you've hit this point in your life where logic fails, it's time to rely on intuition. Intuition is having faith that maybe something impossible actually can become possible. So the logical brain that helped you to get to this point will not serve you as you move forward in the next stage and next phase of your life that you have committed yourself to. Again, this is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just when you get to this spot and when you're in this space in your life where it's silent, where it's still, and where you are called to rest and to be still, there is a declutterization <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna call it that is happening right now in order to help your perception clear in order for you to hear in order for you to know the next step the next the next wave of I guess what is required of you I'm seeing an, an examination of the patterns of the past that have maybe potentially served you in the past or maybe they didn't but you have to ask yourself okay wait if this is what I'm stepping into and if this is what I truly want, what mindset, what people, what heart do I have to have in order to help this blessing, in order to help this gift to thrive? Give yourself the chance to escape from these old habits and patterns that will no longer serve you while you are in this rest period. As easy as that sounds, I want you to know that spirit is clearly telling me that it is not as easy as it sounds. In fact, the more that you examine the imperfections of yourself, the more you will feel vulnerable. The more you will feel like, I don't have what it takes. It's not that you don't have what it takes, it's just that what is required of you is going to challenge your comfort zone. This comfort zone that you've held on to, it was learned. It's learned behavior, it's learned mindset. And it may have helped you to su survive up until this point, but moving forward, the universe, God, your higher self, does not want you to solely survive, it wants you to thrive. So with that, there are some things that need to be abandoned. In order to abandon them, it doesn't mean that you keep moving and pushing forward and building up momentum and never slowing down. Because if you did that, you're, you're not seeing all. The only way to see all is by being still and by radically accepting and radically seeing the reality of who you are and what is around you, how it makes you feel powerless or strong, divinely guided or lost. In order to see it, you must be still. I think for so many of you, you have accepted status quo. And that is why we're calling in radical acceptance. Because we don't want you to settle. We don't want you to accept current circumstances and be like, okay, this is all that is there for me. That is not how that works. 
In order to receive different, you have to do different. In order to see that there is something different out there for you, you have to examine it. In order to examine, sometimes you have to be still because you can't see clearly a moving being. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I want you guys to know that in this stillness, there is something that is being created. And that's where the image of the scarab beetle came through. The scarab beetle is connected to resurrection, immortality, and transformation. I want to connect us to the word immortality. It means that there is life after death. It means that after something dies, it's created in another form, that there is no end to it. After every ending is a new beginning. But in order for that to happen, there needs to be rest. There needs to be stillness. All things laid to rest will be resurrected and transformed better sooner rather than later. Give yourself the time and the space to be completely clear. Give yourself the time and the space to rest so that you can be clear, so that you can be precise and have clarity, so that you can connect with your inner divine self that has all the answers, but the only way to access those answers is to have stillness and quiet so that you can hear them. Same thing with the divine, same thing with your angels and your guides. In order to hear them, you have to be still so that you can so that you can listen to them so that you can hear their voices this is not just physical movement this is emotional spiritual and mental movement if the mind is constantly racing it's just kicking up all this dust and you can't see clearly you you your perception is clouded but when you quiet yourself and you still yourself the dust starts to settle and then you can see clearly and then you can hear the answers become obvious same thing with your emotions and your spiritual self be still What's that quote that says, be still and know that I am God? That resonates right now. When you are still and when you are in the space where you're looking at your life and you're looking at the current and you're looking at yourself, this is gonna be the hardest part because you are going to be called to see things that you may not have been wanting to see, that you may actually have been running away from, things that you don't want to accept. Maybe that's why you've been running. But spirit calls you to be brave and it calls you to stay still and to not get up and to not walk away from it. Don't walk away from you. Don't walk away from this. Look at it. Radically look at it. Radically accept it. Radically see it. Why radical? Because it's different. It's strange. It's unusual. It's not pretty. It's uncomfortable. It makes you vulnerable. It makes you angry. It makes you want to lash out. And rest. See it for what it is. Put it to rest. Lay to rest. Mourn. See that you too have suffered. See that you are asking and calling for healing and that you may need healing before you make the next step, before you make the, me the next move. That is okay because the universe is calling you today to hear the message and to receive it. Again, you've been building up so much momentum because you are strong, but you wanna make sure that your strength is in the right way and that it's not all of your energy and power is moving into sawing your arms off and sawing out people or situations that just need to be a little bit like, um, I don't wanna say perfected, but almost molded into something better. They need to be invested in so that instead of you abandoning, abandoning it and walking forward without it, you're almost molding it so that you learn how to communicate better, so that you learn how to love better, so that you learn how to have healthier boundaries, so that you're able to receive and that other people can respect you. It's whatever this thing is, it's like you're molding it. You're learning how to mold with it instead of just throwing it all away and being like, be gone! Because for some of you guys, your movement has been in just tossing people away like they're nothing, like they're meaningless. At the end of your life, what you're going to have is no one. So it's not about throwing things away and throwing people away and throwing away cer certain circumstances. It's about being still and seeing the patterns. And then when you see them for what they are, you can see their potential or you can so see what does need to be left behind. And that includes aspects of yourself. You can't throw away your brain, but you can invest in making sure that it's a healthy brain, that you have healthy thoughts, that you are not your own worst enemy. The way to do that is to be still. Sometimes doing nothing is the hardest thing that you can do. Am I right? <laughs> Lastly, my loves, what I want to tell you is that there is a space that is reserved for you that has your name written all over it, and that is where you belong. That is where you're being called to go. That is where you have been feeling yourself being pulled to. This space this calling is different and changes at certain points and milestones within our lives. So for some of you guys, you're being called to a career path. 
For some of you guys, you're a call to your life partner. For some of you guys, you're called to creating a family and to having children. For some of you guys, you're being called to travel. And others, you're called to make a difference. Others, you're healing yourself or others. But there is a calling and there is a pull that doesn't even make sense. It is not logical. It is intuitive. It is divine. And it is destined. And the way now, first step, is to be still and to hear it and to feel it. In this rest period, you are restoring your energy, you are examining, you are re-evaluating, you are resting so that your energy can be strong, so that your focus can be clear, so that even if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't need to make sense to you, even if it doesn't make sense, the feeling of you being guided is so strong that you don't need logic to support what you know within your heart. Your strength and your motivation and your determination to get to this calling, to get to this spot where you belong, is the, all the fuel that you need in order to get there. You don't need other people to co-sign, you don't need other people's support, because what you feel within you is enough and is all the confirmation that you need in order to take those next steps, no matter how scared you are. There is a space, and I want you to hear this, there is a space where you belong. You have not been overlooked. You have not been misguided. Everything happens for a reason, whether you want to choose to believe it or not. Whether you're frustrated and you, if, and you lost faith, it doesn't matter. Just because you're, you lost faith doesn't mean that the outcome has changed for you. Doesn't mean that your destiny has left you. You may have lost faith, but that outcome still exists. It's still sitting there waiting for you to find it again. The way to find it is by being still and allow yourself to be transformed in this moment by examining the pattern, by examining the habit and deciding to do differently. When you are strong, you will rise up from the dung, from the shit, just like the dung beetle. And somehow, out of all of those circumstances, out of all of that mess that you had blasted in front of you, that you are sitting in, somehow, in that, you are born anew, you are resurrected, you come to life and you are being called, you are being pulled to your destiny, to the space where you belong. And you knew it. You knew it this entire time. I know you did. That is where you're at right now. I feel that. Crazy thing is about when you are so strong all the time, it's not always about moving forward with strength. Sometimes it's resting in strength and building up your strength once again. Because did you not exert all of it? how strong you are. And the last thing I want to say is the miracle. For some of you guys, it's going to seem like it's a miracle. And it is to some extent, to some degree. What is going to occur in your life through this resurrection is a miracle. But also, it's written in the stars. It's destined. It's destiny. So yeah, to our human brains, it's like, how did this happen? And, and But to the divine and to spirit and your inner self, it's like, well, what do you mean, how did this happen? How could it not happen? This was yours all along. This is where you belong. This belongs to you. No one could have taken this away from you. And one final message, and then I'll leave you guys. Some of you guys are in a space now where, again, when you're looking at these patterns, or you're going to be in a space where you're looking at the patterns. Maybe you hear my words, or maybe you're being called and guided. But you're, you look at these patterns, you look at these habits, and you're like, okay, well, this is where I am. And when you see these patterns, you'll see, okay, wait, have I been here before? I feel like I have. I feel like I've seen this behavior before. I've seen this happen. This is how I reacted last time. This is how they reacted last time. This is what happened last time. Have I been here before? And just because you've been there before doesn't mean that that is where you belong. Just because you've seen it happen before doesn't mean that that is where you stay and that that is something that you should accept. Radical acceptance doesn't mean that you accept status quo and be like, okay, well, this is, is a, as good as it gets. Radical acceptance means, okay, I see that this is what this is, but now I see and accept that I need to do differently. That is what makes it radical, is that there is change within it. It's not staying in status quo. Your heart knows that there's something bigger and better out there for you. And sometimes the way to get there is by changing it up, by switching it up. And sometimes before you make that major change, you need to rest. And in that rest, you will be transformed. While you are transforming, you will be born new. Being born new means you're completely resurrected. With resurrection comes new life, new strength, new purpose, and the strength to take the next steps towards your destiny. And on that note, I give you guys the biggest hug ever. You have my full support, my full love. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Bye.